The podcast is called Get a Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice, and this is Peter Stewart presenting it and producing it and reading it as well. Non-fiction audiobook narration skills, appropriately enough for today's episode then. Recording a non-fiction text is considered by some to be more straightforward than recording fiction. Yeah, wonder which one you might think is going to be more appropriate for your style. What are you going to be more interested in doing? Yeah, because obviously interest is going to help you get over the storyline or get over the information. So are you more of a fiction person or more of a non-fiction person? We're going to be looking at each of these topics over the forthcoming days. But today, non-fiction audiobook narration skills. Yeah, some people think non-fiction text is, is more straightforward because you're delivering information, instruction or facts rather than navigating a narrative of characters and conflicts. But others say that's just why non-fiction is difficult because the text can be flat and featureless and was usually not written to be read aloud in a way that a fiction book might be. Indeed, the read may include foreign phrases, Maths equations, sidebars, footnotes, charts, illustrations, abbreviations, explanations and appendices, all of which, depending on the director's instructions, may have to be read and recorded. And that's a little bit awkward. Non-fiction texts can be detail-rich with long, dense paragraphs littered with parentheses and subclauses, which can be difficult to vocalise with intonation. It may help to break the sentence up with some slash marks so you can more easily see the different phrases which link together, which ones balance or which ones oppose each other or which ones add extra information. Try and see such sentences at first glance, complex and unwieldy, more like a tree, the main trunk from which there are branches and then twigs to help you use a different tone for each section of the structure of a sentence. But that doesn't mean to say there's no actual acting, as is pretty obvious, of course, in fiction books. Help communicate the message of a non-fiction book by imagining talking to several people in the audience, possibly with a sense of almost ad-libbed fluency, to make you appear to be the expert author, conversationally authoritative. Brief look at non-fiction skills. Fiction skills another whole kettle of fish because you've got a story arc and you've also got several characters that you deal with as well. So how do you vocalise them without sounding as though you're narrating a cartoon, which you're not? That starts tomorrow on Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. (laughs) 